What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be comparing the gaming performance on this Retina MacBook Pro to that of the Alienware M14X that I tested just last year. So as you guys know, I tested Crysis 2 on the Alienware M14X just last year. It was the quad core model, albeit a Sandy Bridge processor rather than being the Ivy Bridge processor. But I'd be interested to see if we set it on the same settings, what the difference in frame rate would actually be. So what I've got here is I've set it to 1280 by 800 with V-Sync turned on and gamer mode, which is exactly the same as I set on the Alienware M14X when I tested Crysis 2 on that. Now when I tested Crysis 2 with those particular settings on the M14X, I got a frame rate of about 50 frames per second. So let's just test this out and see what we get here. So we're at about 60 frames per second here, so slightly higher than that previous M14X that I tested just last year. there we go definitely sitting around the 60 frames per second mark now let's come back out of that and change the graphics option up to hardcore now with the M14X on this resolution and hardcore let's just change that up there I actually got 30 frames per second so let's apply that and see what the difference is there on the previous one we were about 10 frames per second higher on this Retina MacBook Pro but let's try it on the hardcore setting. So here we go. So I'm getting about 36 frames per second, 35. Let's just run around a bit more. So all the way up to about 40, 50 frames per second. So we're kind of averaging about well, we're going above 50 now, so about 40 to 50 frames per second, probably hovering somewhere around the 40 mark. Now, on the Alienware M14X of last year, I actually got 30 on that, so a good 10 higher than that again. Now, let's just change the options again, and this time I'm going to up the resolution to the highest resolution that we had on the M14X, which was 1600 by 900 and we'll set that on the hardcore mode now on this settings on the Alienware M14X I actually got 20 frames per second so let's see what we get on this Retina MacBook Pro let's just go back like I say I was getting 20 so a good 10 higher again we're sitting at about 30 slightly above 30 35 frames per second let's just shoot some stuff So about 30 to 35 frames per second with this Retina MacBook Pro. So again, another kind of 10 frames per second higher than that that we were getting on the Alienware M14X. Now, the Alienware didn't go up any higher than that in terms of resolution, but let's just see what this can go up to on its highest settings and see what frame rate we get. So this is going to go up to the ridiculous 2880 by 1800 resolution we'll leave it on hardcore and see what kind of performance we get now in terms of the Alienware M14X Crisis 2 video I will leave a link to that in the description also to the review which will tell you the specifications of that M14X as well just so you can have some kind of comparison between the two Whoa, so that's really juddery now. You can't, you, you couldn't even play that. That's 10 frames per second at that full resolution on hardcore mode. Let's just change the resolution down, uh, sorry, the system spec down to gamer and leave it on full resolution and see if that actually makes much of a difference to the frame rate. So now we're up to about 25 frames per second. That's on 2880 by 800, 1800 resolution. And we're getting about 20 
frames per second, going up to 25 frames per second there on that full resolution. Now let's actually just change that one more time and we'll bring the resolution down to something that is a bit more common. So we'll do 1920 by 1200 and we will turn the system spec up to hardcore and then we'll just turn V-Sync off and see what we get with that particular setting. So here we go. So that's 1920 by 1200 and that's on the, the highest setting that you'll go on hardcore setting and we're getting 25 frames per second pretty consistently. I'm not really paying attention but yeah we get about 25 frames per second on that particular option. Now we'll just do one more and we'll just change the system spec down to advanced on that 1920 by 1200 and just see what kind of frame rate we get out of that. So quite interesting to see how this actually compared up to the M14X the one that I had in for review last year. So now we're on about 30 to 35 frames per second. About 35 frames per second with some pretty average settings. But anyway guys, I hope that was useful for you. I just wanted to kind of see how it compared to that M14X that I had in last year. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.